Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Hybrid Now. We're going to do a little testing uh, in the new Prius today. We're in a 2023 Toyota Prius. This is the limited trim all-wheel drive. And one of the options that you have, amongst many, is the drive mode. There are four modes, Eco, Normal, Sport, and Custom. So we're gonna run through each one, kinda of see what it feels like. Now, what I've been driving in almost 100% of the time is just Normal Mode. And that's what we're in right now. Normal Mode gives you plenty of acceleration, really good handling, decent steering wheel feel, everything that I think most people would probably be happy with. In other words, they probably wouldn't switch to the other modes. But we're gonna go ahead. Right now, I'm gonna push the button into, uh, I think I'm gonna go to sport mode. All right, right now we're in sport mode. And as far as power goes, I don't know that I really notice any difference. It still feels kind of the same to me, but there is a distinct difference in the way that the steering wheel feels. It is much, much stiffer, much more responsive than it is in just normal mode. Something I noticed right away, honestly, the first time that I went ahead and hit that button, I haven't tried any of the others, so we're gonna, we're gonna experience that together. Now, as far as cornering goes, we're gonna take a turn right here. I wanna see if I feel really anything different. Like I said, definitely in the steering wheel. I have to put more effort into it. Definitely uh, a more sporty feel, that's for sure. Uh, from a turning uh, perspective, other than it takes more effort to turn the steering wheel, uh, I didn't notice really anything there, but it is amazing to me the difference in the steering wheel. I can't say enough about it. Um, again, performance, acceleration, I know we're talking about a Prius, right? I don't really notice any big differences. Now, for comparison's sake, I'm going to go back to uh, just sport mode, I'm sorry, normal mode, and we'll see if we notice anything there, and I know I will. I did feel a bit of a let off on the engine, if you will, on the car itself. It feels like it kind of kicked down a notch, if you will. Steering wise, much more loosey goosey, uh, and it's not horrible just compared to sport than what sport is. I mean, it's definitely easier, definitely uh, a lot more play in the steering wheel than sport mode. Power wise, except for that maybe perceived feel of the uh, of the engine or the powertrain is probably a better term for it uh, because we are running off of battery and engine. I didn't notice much of a difference. Now, we're going to go into something that I will most likely never drive in unless I was on a long distance trip on the freeway at speed and didn't really need to enjoy the different uh, features of driving. We're going to go to eco mode. So let me kick down to eco mode. I'm in eco mode right now. Definitely can feel a difference uh, in the way the car uh, feels from a power perspective, a power train perspective, by kicking it down into eco mode. Now we're gonna we're gonna take a turn here, and this is where I will be accelerating from a stop, of course. And I really want to see if I feel anything. Uh, different in doing that so we'll wait for traffic to clear here we've got a truck coming never want to pull out in front of anybody when I'm doing this kind of stuff here we go and then we're going to accelerate up it seems to run out longer before shifting that's kind of odd uh, it is a CVT or a variable transmission, but it definitely seemed to hold that gear longer. I don't know why. Um, not as as much or as acceleration or as quick uh, as it is in either normal mode or sport mode, that's for sure. 
but not horrible. I mean, I would have expected eco mode to just be a dog. In other words, I could get out and probably run that turn quicker than the Prius was going to take it. But I didn't really feel that. So I, I don't know. Eco mode is not that horrible either. Maybe, maybe I've been shortchanging it a little bit, and I need to drive around in eco mode just to see if uh, if it makes any real difference in fuel economy. You know, I've been getting, uh, or I'm up to about 42.8 miles per gallon right now. So it would be interesting to see if driving around in eco mode actually increased that fuel economy a little bit. I mean, it should. It's eco mode, right? You're giving up a little bit of acceleration by going to that mode. Here's another turn. We're going to speed up, and I'm not flooring it. This is just normal driving. Definitely uh, throttling the engine, if you will. Definitely like putting a, a bag over its head. It, uh, it does not respond as quickly, but again, it's not horrid. It's not horrible. Now, I want to flip up to custom mode. I don't know what that's going to give me. Uh, maybe it's something you have to set up. I don't know. I'm in custom right now. It says custom drive mode. There is a settings uh, you can hit. Uh, I suppose it's going to let you go through different things. Let me go back down to sport and back up to custom and tap settings. All right, I've tapped settings, and what it does, it brings up a screen that says mode preferences. This is in custom. You can apparently change different options. The powertrain, steering, and air conditioning are all set at normal right now in custom mode. But if I touch the powertrain, and it's unavailable while driving. So just so you know, when you're in custom mode, everything is going to be normal. Uh, which is the normal driving setting, but you can go through and I'm sure what the options are going to be are eco uh, Sport and That's it so you can change and normal so you have eco normal and sport those are the ways that you can set the different uh, custom features if you will uh, when you hit the custom setting on the drive mode Eh, I don't know. I think they've got it covered pretty well with the available options, but maybe you want to be uh, looser, looser steering and uh, have the powertrain be in sport. I can see how some people might like that because it is just a bit tighter uh, when you're in sport mode. We'll have to try that out in a future video. I'm getting a little bit long here. I don't want to bore you. I just kind of wanted to run through the different modes, give you my impression of them as I'm driving around. We are coming up to a stop here in just a second. So when I do stop, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to verify if my assumption about the custom settings is correct. Again, I think you can just choose from the available modes and slot them in where you want them in custom mode. So let me let me stop here to end the video and I'll let you know real quick. We're stopped. So I'm going to, for instance, powertrain. It says unavailable while driving still. So I guess I would have to be in park. Now I'm in park and everything's available. So you can't even do it when you're stopped. If I hit normal, as I thought, you can choose sport, normal, or eco. So that's what you can do. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you guys think of the different options for driving modes in the Prius. Something you would change and, uh, and adjust to your liking or just drive in normal mode all the time and, and be happy with the way it is. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.